All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have a Saturn in your chart? I am sure you do. I do, you do, I am sure everybody else does. But do you know that certain actions that we do in our life perpetually, day after day, moment after moment, year after year, decade after decade, destroys this one planet Saturn completely? Okay, which means if you do not stop doing all this, then there will be a day in your life where you will reach a point of no return with Saturn, which means it will be almost next to impossible to reverse the damage done. Therefore, if you are doing any of these 10 activities, now, of course, everybody will do one or two or three of this, okay? Nobody is perfect. We are not talking of perfection here. But if you are doing four, five or six or seven of these activities, one or two is okay. Up to three is fine. But if it is more than five, six, seven, eight, then it's very dangerous and it will be irreversible. So if you are doing most of these activities, then and most and what happens is mostly if you do one of these or two of these, you will in some time of your life, some some somewhere in front of somebody also do the other things okay so therefore <clears throat> if you recognize that you are perpetually getting addicted to doing all these 10 things then please 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 you need to stop now otherwise it will be too late all right and before i begin this video is going to be heavy so there will be a lot of things which i will speak here that you may not like so if you have a strong if you really want the karela <laughs> the bitter guard then only you should stay or else you need to leave otherwise you may spoil your day <laughs> all right as usual if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the thumbs up which i'm sure you will do anyways <laughs> after a while <clears throat> god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure no doubts on that now what is the first thing that you can do which ensures that you destroy your Saturn completely. This is very, 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 very powerful because if you do, if you do this, then that's it. Nothing else matters, okay? Which is you don't plan anything. You just go with the flow. Now, going with the flow is very important. Going with the flow has other uh, advantages. But that is only good if you are doing it after having a plan. So, for example... <clears throat> You have planned certain things and then now you see, oh, now the requirement is different. So then you adjust. You are flowing with the flow. That's perfectly fine. But if you're flowing with the flow without any plan, you are just like letting it loose. As they say, uh, what was that company Nike said? No, just do it. You feel like doing. Okay. You feel like eating, just eat. Swiggy, Zomato, right? Uh, you feel like uh, you, you are getting sexual thoughts. Oh, no problem. I will just masturbate. I will see some pornography. I will go and uh, hook up with someone, right? You know, so, Or I want to eat meat, so I will go to the nearest place and have some nice meat. Or you want to have wine, you are going and having some nice wine. Okay. You want to have Netflix. Oh, yes. Netflix. Oh, yes. Movies. Oh, yes. Cricket. Oh, yes. Football. So, whatever you are doing instant. So, if your mind is proposing something and you are not offering any resistance, you are just saying yes, okay, then that means you don't have any plan in your life. So, please plan your day, your week, your month, your quarter and your year and if possible even your decade. So, if you meet big people, you meet spiritual people uh, who are very elevated, who are very famous, who if you meet people uh, who are big businessmen, you will realize they have their decades planned out. You ask them today, 2024, what will you do in 2020, uh, 2036? They will tell you, this is my plan for that year. So you may not plan for 10 years, but at least plan for the day at the least. <laughs> that is bare minimum. So once you plan your day, um, split it into hours, then you can plan for the week and then if you do it consistently for four weeks then you plan for the next month okay take a goal and try to achieve it then the next quarter then the next year okay otherwise 
they were just flowing with the flow and that doesn't help okay number two you are procrastinating you are delaying things so you plan but then when you see oh yeah now oh this time slot i should be doing something so you don't do it okay so you you, you try to like delay things and you are like uh, okay maybe i'll do it you know karenge 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 you, you are delaying it endlessly you are leaving it to the mercy of the universe <laughs> So the best way to beat procrastination is to have a good schedule and to try your best to execute that thing there itself. Okay, otherwise uh, it can be very difficult to uh, not procrastinate. And procrastination is a symptom of tamogun. So if you have tamogun, then uh, it will be very difficult for you to not procrastinate. So try to be in satwagun. You know, try to get up early, take a uh, bath early in the morning in cold water. Uh, have sattvic food take association of members of the spiritual community in the weekends and chant the names of god read the scripture so by that you will come to sattva gun and that is how you can automatically naturally by default get rid of procrastination otherwise it's a matter of time you cannot say oh i will counter procrastination with my willpower because willpower is limited and if you are in tamogun willpower is anyways very less or you need a lot of willpower to say no no to your lower habits but if you are in sattva gun then it's very easy to say no okay relatively much more easier 100 times number three you perpetually blame others okay um, my husband is the root cause my wife is the root cause my father is the problem my mother is the problem my daughter my son my neighbor my um colleague my boss my juniors my subordinates or government is the problem <laughs> the weather is the problem god is the problem right <laughs> so when you start blaming uh, the person next to you you know in your home or in your office then gradually you will start blaming god one day okay so first it will start in the family then friend circle then in your office then it will start with society your chief minister then it will start with the prime minister or president. Then who's there after that? United Nations. Okay, fine. After that, oh yeah, God is the root cause of all problems. Okay, so you take zero responsibility. You are just you're just hovering and you know blaming. Oh yeah, iske wajah se ho raha uske wajah se ho raha. Isne nahi kiya, usne nahi kiya. Okay, so you, everybody knows it. When again, as I said, it's human to blame somebody sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I do it, you do it. I'm sure everybody does it. But perpetually, if you are blaming and you are not changing yourself, that's the end of the story. Number four, you perpetually break your commitments. Okay, so for example, you give a word and then you you forget. Either you forget or 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 you don't do it. So you do it once, fine. Twice, fine. If you do it the third time, it's a matter of time. You will get a bad name and nobody will be able to trust you because people know you can't stay true to your commitment. So in your office, you know, if you tell somebody, oh, I'll send you a mail at this time, you know, then you should send that mail. Of course, if there's an emergency, it's different. And if you really have problems maintaining your commitments, then please put updates in your calendar. Okay, if you forget, like there's a subscription which you have to renew on a particular date and you forget or you have to cancel, you forget so put a reminder okay so if you so after if it is to be renewed automatically in 30 days so when it is 28 days put a reminder so if you cannot remember things that's fine but if you remember because if you can't remember you can take help of software mobile laptop and all this to give you remembers but even after remembering if you don't do then your saturn is going to be damaged very badly number five very 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 crucial for organization and planning you do not you do not take any feedback which means you don't either you uh, take feedback very negatively or you or you don't feel the need to take any feedback so if you are uh, you know a leader in an organization especially for leaders you should know what is going on in the ground level otherwise what happens you are sitting in your ac rooms and you are just giving uh, speeches okay you can see this in uh, the case of big companies or even big political parties even sometimes you know they are uh, not in tune with what the people or the voters are saying or what the voters want and then they sit in their ac rooms and they keep passing declarations uh, we will do this we will do that 
and then when uh, it's time for review you know like in corporate there's this reviews or you know performance evaluation or in case of politicians there's there are elections you see you you it's a disaster okay why because what you thought and what is the reality is not matching so therefore please understand that what you think and what others are thinking may not be the same so we need to have the humility to accept good feedback okay good i mean not positive feedback but also negative feedback in a good way otherwise it's problematic of course there are some people who are just haters blatant haters they will always hate you i'm not talking of the haters but if somebody who generally gives you positive feedback generally is now giving you a negative feedback hey you are you are doing good here always but today i think this was too much so then you should really take that seriously because that person is your well wisher okay you don't have to take every random stranger's opinion seriously but if somebody who has been a well wisher is now turning into a critic then you have to understand maybe there's something wrong in your actions lately okay but nonetheless even worse than not taking feedback positively uh, constructively is to not feel the need to take any feedback so if you are in a company if you are employee Uh, please take feedback from your manager from your team lead from your seniors time to time if you are into your spiritual practices uh, then take feedback from your counselor your shiksha guru your diksha guru constantly you know every month you should take feedback what do you think how am i doing number 6 you are either too rigid or too flexible which means you you do not have any individuality or you are too individualistic because then what happens is uh, your saturn is either too rigid or too weak so if saturn is too rigid then you are too much of a rule book law book person and then if there are exceptions you cannot handle and then people don't like you now if you are too flexible then everybody likes you which is again problematic because then you don't achieve target so try to find a balance whenever required uh, you might have to let go of certain things in other people and also in yourself and when time requires you have to take the stand for yourself okay so for example uh, there's this extreme uh, belief you know should you be right wing should you be left wing okay so if you are extreme right winger it's a problem if you are extreme left winger then also it's a problem now does it mean you have to be a centrist or should you be a centrist well not necessarily you can have your agenda and depending on what is required you can be a right winger or left winger or a centrist okay now i'm not talking of politicians here where a politician from a right wing party goes to the left wing party i'm not saying that or a left wing comes to right wing and then they white wash everything else i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is you might need to uh, be flexible at the same time when required if there is injustice or there are problems you have to be uh, very strong otherwise people will not respect you okay number 7 is classic if you are perpetually speaking lies because saturn is the karaka for lies and if you are perpetually going on lying then it it is going to destroy your saturn okay so therefore if you are lying then what does it mean like exceptional cases you are lying that that's okay i mean that's not okay but we can understand but perpetually if you are lying then what does it mean it means you are doing something which you should not do so for example if you are in a company and every time you have to lie to your boss and you know, oh he or she is asking this and you are saying yeah i will do it oh he didn't do that ye ho gaya ho gaya that means you are not capable enough for that job so you should resign and take a job which is at per your level or you should take a job where you have skills and interests otherwise you will have to continue to lie um, until a point where uh, you will be fired Okay. so therefore uh, you can you have to understand that if you are lying every day to everyone then you are you are being dishonest not to others to yourself okay so for example if you have to lie every day in your job then that job is not meant for you if you have to lie every day in a relationship then maybe that relationship needs some serious restructuring of expectations okay so therefore please don't do this number 8 this is classic saturn you exploit people who are weaker than you or who are incompetent compared to you or who are in a 
uh, inferior position, not inferior, who are under you, your subordinates. Okay. So anybody who is uh, who is not at par your standards, you try to exploit them. And this can be very much seen in corporates uh, and even, you know, in relationships or anywhere, you know, in politics, even sometimes in spiritual communities, you know. So because Saturn represents the weaker sections of the society, okay. So if you are exploiting the weaker sections of the society, then in next lifetime or in some lifetime, you will be born with a bad Saturn. And then what happens is when you try to become a leader, all your subordinates will stand against you. So has it happened that you were a manager once upon a time and everybody is like, you know, oh, against you. Okay, nobody wants to listen to you. Everybody thinks you are fake, you are a loser, or uh, they call you a they call you a liar, basically. Okay. So does it happen that people don't trust you when you are in an authority position? Ah, ye kya karega? what will he do? He's a he's this, he's that, she's he's this is that. So then maybe in some lifetime you have exploited people who are weaker than you. So therefore, if you had done it, now you can't change it. You have to face the consequences. But if you're doing it actively in this lifetime, then you will get curses. And then maybe in this lifetime itself or the next lifetimes, you will have to pay the price. Okay, so please stop doing that. Number nine, you are stealing credit or you are defaming somebody, spreading false information. So this is similar to speaking lies, but it's like trying to uh, get credit for things that you have not done. Okay, this is, this is very bad because... If you take credit for things that you have not done, then someday you will not get credit for things that you deserve. Which means people will not give you your due. So many times people tell me that they were working in a job and somebody who is not as smart or as knowledgeable or as experienced or uh, competent as them, their colleague or you know somebody or in their family somebody gets more salary you know they get more things than them so then it 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 means that in your previous lifetimes you have stolen credit from others and that is why now saturn is giving it back to you okay you are not getting the credit so whenever you get a chance if you have this problem then try to celebrate the success of other people don't get jealous unnecessarily try to celebrate success of other people you will see magically things will disappear for you Always give credit to others. Do not try to take credit. Of course, if you have done something uh, constructive and somebody is trying to steal your credit, then you might have to take a stand and uh, take your credit. That's perfectly fine. <clears throat> but uh, otherwise, uh, people don't trust you because you are like a you know credit. Uh, what do you say? It's like a credit sucker. <laughs> In fact, uh, one thing I would like to share, I in my uh, previous, like my first job that I got in Germany, uh, so I was in a team and there was a, one of my team lead, he had made a presentation and there were certain things uh, in the presentation which I saw and at the end, I saw my name was also written there, contributors. I was like, what? I mean, I have no idea of this presentation. Not only did I not have any idea of the PPT or the work in the presentation, but the concept and the topic itself, but it was just like I was a member of the team. and uh, But my work was completely not related to that. So then I said, why have you put my name here unnecessarily? I, I think you should remove my name because I don't deserve the credit. Because at the end, people will see, they'll think, oh yeah, he has also worked in this. So then he said, no, 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 it's okay. You are also a member of our team. You know, I thought we, I can write everybody's name, you know, so like three, four people, everybody's name was written. And that person made the PPT and that person did everything in that domain in regards to that particular presentation. But still he had put uh, three of our names. Okay, so this is, this is something very incredible, which I still remember. It's almost uh, the Corona time, you know, it's like almost three, four, five years, but I still remember it and I will remember it my lifetime. Okay, so therefore, if you behave like this, then people really can trust in your leadership. Otherwise, you are in trouble. Okay, and you will always see that you cannot make friends if you steal credits from others. Okay, and number 10, you are being very miserly, which means 
you don't want to share your resources. You are very restrictive. Okay, Saturn shows restriction. So restrictions are okay if you put it on yourself. Like, you know, okay, today I will not eat this. Today I will not see this. Today I will not do this. So whenever it comes to restrictions, you should restrict yourself from bad habits. But if you are miserly, uh, you are restricting good things. Okay, so for example, okay, this person needs something uh, you are not giving. Okay, even if you can, you are not giving. It, it could be money, time, attention, whatever it is. Okay, so the more you are miserly, the more your Saturn will be destroyed because Saturn shows miserly behavior. Saturn is a miser, I think. Okay, <laughs> not in a derogatory way, but yes, in some way, if you are miserly, um, it can be problematic. So you need to be calculative. You need to be smart. You need to understand how things work in this world. But if you are miserly beyond a certain extent, then you will have no friends, no contacts, no communications. You will be very selfish and you will only contact people when you need them and everybody will know it. Eventually, everybody comes to know about you. Okay, You cannot hide things for very long. So therefore... If that's how you are behaving, then that's terrible. And please try to be more open and try to share your resources more. All right. So I hope you liked all of these points. And uh, please let me know down in the comments which one of the 10 you are having. Okay. I hope there are not too many. And if you are new, then please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want a personalized consultation, you can always go to my website down in the des description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure.